Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you look down at the ground pretty much anywhere on Earth, you're likely to see one of these little guys. Ants! They seem so simple, just tiny insects marching in a line. But what if I told you that you're actually looking at some of the most sophisticated and powerful creatures on the planet? Seriously, the world of ants is packed with more drama, engineering, and wild science than a Hollywood blockbuster. They're farmers, soldiers, architects, and even survivors with some truly mind-blowing abilities. So today, we're going on an epic safari into the miniature world of these tiny titans. I've lined up some of the most incredible ant species from all over the globe, and we're going to dive deep into what makes each one so special. We're talking about ants that build living bridges, ants with jaws that snap shut faster than you can blink, and even ants that look like other animals. We'll learn their names, uncover their secrets, and see some amazing footage of them in action. This is going to be a ton of fun for the whole family. And you're definitely going to want to stick around until the very end, because I've saved what I think is the absolute coolest, most surprising ant for last. Trust me, it's not what you're expecting, and it might just become your new favorite insect. So, grab your magnifying glass, get comfortable, and let's shrink down to size to meet the amazing ants! All right, first up on our tour is a personal favorite of mine, the incredible leafcutter ant. Look at these guys. They look like they're carrying little green umbrellas, but they're not getting ready for a tiny rainstorm. What you're seeing is one of the most advanced examples of agriculture in the entire animal kingdom, besides us humans, of course. These ants aren't actually eating the leaves they so carefully slice up and carry back to their massive underground nests. That would be way too simple for these sophisticated farmers. Instead, they take these leaf pieces deep into their subterranean cities and chew them up into a pulp. They use this pulp to grow a very specific type of fungus, which is what they actually eat. That's right, they are fungus farmers. They tend to their gardens, weed out any competing molds, and basically operate a massive, complex farming operation that can feed millions of colony members. It's like a bustling underground city powered entirely by fungus that they cultivate themselves. How cool is that? Okay, from the farmers we move on to the warriors. Meet the bullet ant, and it gets its name for a very, very good reason. This ant, found in the rainforests of Central and South America, is famous for having the single most painful sting of any insect on the planet. I'm not exaggerating here. People who have been unlucky enough to experience it describe the pain as being equal to getting shot with a bullet, hence the name. They say it comes in blinding electric waves and can last for up to 24 hours. So what makes it so painful? It's all about the venom. The main toxin in its sting is called ponerotoxin, a powerful neurotoxin that messes with your nerve endings, causing them to fire uncontrollably. This isn't just a defense mechanism, it's a full-on declaration of war against any predator that dares to mess with it. Some brave, or maybe crazy people, have even filmed themselves getting stung. And let me tell you, it does not look like a good time. This is one tiny titan you do not want to cross. Now, let's talk about an ant that doesn't build a permanent home because the ant colony the home. This is the army ant, and they are the nomads of the ant world. Instead of digging a nest, they form massive temporary structures called bivouacs made entirely out of their own living bodies. The workers link their legs and bodies together to create a protective shell around the queen and the young larvae inside. It's a living, breathing, moving fortress. When it's time to hunt, the entire colony, we're talking hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of ants, marches out in a massive swarm, consuming almost any insect, spider, or small animal that can't get out of its way. They don't have great eyesight, so they follow chemical trails laid down by the ants in front of them, creating a terrifyingly efficient, unstoppable river of predators. They are a force of nature, a superorganism on the move that clears a path of everything in its wake. You've probably heard of these next ones, and you might have even had a run-in with them. Meet the fire ant. They're originally from South America, but have spread all over the world. They get their name from the fiery, burning sensation their stings cause. Unlike the bullet ant's single, powerful sting, 
A fire ant will bite to get a grip and then sting repeatedly, injecting its venom. And where there's one, there are usually hundreds more, leading to a painful, itchy attack. But their painful sting isn't their only superpower. Fire ants are master engineers when it comes to survival, especially during floods. When their underground nests get flooded, they don't drown. Instead, they link their bodies together, trapping air bubbles with their waxy, water-repellent exoskeletons, and form a massive living raft. The queen and the young are kept safe and dry in the middle, while the raft floats on the water for weeks if necessary, waiting for the floodwaters to recede so they can establish a new colony. Up next, we have some of the most ingenious architects in the animal kingdom, the weaver ant. These ants, found in Africa and Southeast Asia, build their nests high up in the trees, but they don't use mud or wood. They use living leaves. So how do they get the leaves to stick together? This is where it gets crazy. A line of adult worker ants will stand on the edge of one leaf, grab another leaf with their mandibles, and pull the two edges together. They're like living clamps, but they still need glue, right? Well, they have a secret weapon for that, their own babies. The adult ants will carefully carry larvae from inside the nest over to the construction site. Then they gently squeeze the larvae, which causes them to secrete a sticky silk thread. The workers then move the larvae back and forth between the leaf edges, essentially using them as living glue guns to stitch the nest together. They literally weave a home using teamwork and their own young... If you've ever seen perfect little piles of sawdust near a window or in your basement, you might have met our next ant. This is the carpenter ant. Now, a common misconception is that they eat wood like termites do, but that's not actually true. They are carpenters, not wood eaters. They use their powerful mandibles to excavate wood, chewing through it to create smooth, clean tunnels and galleries for their nests. They're just looking for a safe, sturdy place to live. They prefer damp or decaying wood because it's easier to chew through, which is why you often find them in water-damaged parts of houses or old tree stumps. They are master excavators, creating intricate networks of tunnels that can house their entire colony. While they don't eat the wood, they spit out the bits they chew up, creating those little sawdust piles called frass. So if you see frass, it's not termite leftovers, it's a sign that a team of tiny carpenters is hard at work somewhere nearby. From the big carpenters, let's go to some of the tiniest ants you'll ever see. Meet the pharaoh ant. These guys are minuscule, only about two millimeters long, and are a pale yellowish color. Their small size and color make them incredibly difficult to spot. But what really makes them unique is their nesting behavior, especially when they move indoors. Unlike other ants that have one central colony with one queen, pharaoh ants are masters of decentralization. A single pharaoh ant colony can have multiple queens spread out across many different small nests. And here's the kicker. If you try to spray them with a typical ant killer, it can actually make the problem worse. When they feel threatened, a behavior called budding occurs, where one of the queens will take a group of workers and simply move to a new location to start another colony so one nest can quickly become five or 10 or even 20. They conquer by dividing. Keeping with the theme of tiny sneaky ants, let's look at one that's a true master of camouflage. This is the ghost ant, and you can see exactly how it got its name. It has a dark head and thorax, but its legs and abdomen are a milky white, almost translucent color. When it's moving quickly across a light-colored surface, like a kitchen counter, that pale back half seems to disappear, making the ant look like a tiny, dark head floating around. It's like a little phantom. This incredible camouflage makes them extremely hard to see and track, allowing them to go about their business of searching for sweet foods and water without being noticed. Like pharaoh ants, they also have multiple queens and practice budding, making them tricky to get rid of once they've established themselves. Their ghostly appearance is a perfect adaptation for living alongside humans, staying just out of sight while they search for their next sugary meal. 
Get ready for some high-speed physics because our next ant is a biological marvel. This is the trap jaw ant. Its claim to fame is right there in the name. Its mandibles, or jaws, are held open by a latch mechanism, building up an incredible amount of potential energy, like a loaded mouse trap. When a tiny hair trigger on the inside of the mandibles is touched by prey or a predator, the jaws snap shut with unbelievable speed. How fast? They can slam shut at speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. It's one of the fastest predatory strikes in the entire animal kingdom. The force is so powerful that it can instantly crush or kill its prey. But that's not all. This ant can also use its powerful jaws for defense or escape. By striking the ground or a predator, the sheer force of the jaw snap can launch the ant into the air, flipping it away from danger. It's a jaw that's both a weapon and an escape pod. And finally, we've arrived at our last ant, and it's one of the most visually stunning insects you'll ever see. Meet the panda ant. Look at it. It has the iconic black and white coloring of a giant panda, but in a tiny fuzzy package. It's absolutely beautiful. But here's the big secret I promised you at the beginning. The panda ant isn't actually an ant at all. It's a species of wasp where the females are wingless and look just like ants. Mind blown, right? These ants are also known as cow killers because their sting is so legendarily painful that it was said to be able to kill a cow. While that's an exaggeration, it does pack a serious punch, ranking high on the sting pain index. The bright black and white coloring isn't just for show, it's a form of apocematism, which is a warning to predators. I look pretty, but I am dangerous, so stay away. It's a brilliant survival strategy and a perfect example of how amazing and deceptive nature can be. And there you have it! From tiny farmers and ghostly invaders to living rafts and lightning fast jaws, the world of ants is so much more incredible than we ever imagined. We even learned that one of the coolest looking ants is actually a wasp in disguise. It just goes to show that there are amazing secrets and mind-blowing science waiting to be discovered everywhere in nature, even right under our feet. The next time you see an ant trail, maybe you'll stop and wonder if you're looking at carpenters, weavers, or warriors. This was so much fun to explore with all of you today. The natural world is the greatest show on earth and there's always something new to learn. So what was your favorite ant that we looked at today? Was it the fungus farming leaf cutter, the super fast trap jaw, or were you fooled by the panda ant like I was the first time I saw one? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to read which one you thought was the coolest. Thank you all so much for watching and for being a part of this amazing community. If you had fun and learned something new, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Until then, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video.